Hi there, you're watching Business Connection Live. Steve Harley with you here. We're at the Business Show at Olympia. We're here for today and tomorrow. We're broadcasting live. It's a live stream right across the world, not just the UK, right across Europe, the Americas, Asia. We're there worldwide right now. And if you are, it's interesting because we get a lot of visitors to our website from China. Very interesting because it kind of shows you how universal it is when it comes to selling your business and what business is all about and when it comes to selling your business we've already talked a little bit about social media how you use social media but maybe on a bigger scale how do you do digital marketing how do you go about doing that uh, with me is Warren Knight Warren it's good to have you Hi with Steve us. thank you very much Warren when, when people hear the word digital marketing I would imagine some of them actually switch off and they don't really understand what we're talking about. Yeah, it's very true. Just define digital marketing for me. Uh, digital marketing is really about how a company can take their message, their story, and put it online. So there are various different ways that you can use digital marketing. One of them actually being through social media. Um, and uh, Brad very nicely put it earlier about getting your story out there, sharing that message. But then it's taking that, that layer deeper. So how do you actually then communicate once you've got somebody on board with you as a business, how can you get deeper and close with them to be able to share your message around your brand? And that can be done through email marketing, it can be done through um, various forums and communities or sending out um, you know, um, a piece of advice around how they can actually come and help grow their business. So it's, um, it's just a thinking about it from a digital perspective. What do you think the biggest mistake is when people approach digital marketing? Where do they go wrong? they go wrong by um, actually uh, applying a strategy to digital marketing that isn't integrated into that whole marketing mix. So if you do something independently on social media, if it's standalone, it will fall alone. So it has to be included in the whole marketing mix. I mean, this is very much what the broadcasters are doing, isn't it, with the red button and it everything, is, yeah. if there's a way of involving the audience. But how do you grow that audience? How do you go for the, that, that mass market? It's very, very difficult. Okay, we've got things like the autoresponders, Aweber, yep. MailChimp, and all those kind of things. They're all sitting out there. But how do we grow that initial audience? How do we you know, break through that glass ceiling so that we've then got that kind of real momentum in what we're doing? I think the first thing to do for any business is really just take a step back and look at what the business does. So what's the unique selling proposition around the business? Really defining the products and services and then truly understanding your target audience. Once you've truly understood your target audience and you're really laser focused on those guys, really get and understand who they are, where they are and what platforms they hang out on. Then you can actually apply a very simple tactic of connecting with them, communicating with them, sharing a piece of educational knowledge around them then that, that is building trust, you're being authentic around who you are, and that slowly builds the momentum around you've been able to increase your audience. It's very interesting you say about understanding who your audience is. As we look around here, we've got small, medium-scale businesses, we've got entrepreneurs, we've got serialpreneurs, we've got those kind of people that we are have. here. And many people don't actually understand who their target audience is. If I said to you then, who are you targeting? How would you describe your typical your typical uh, follower, viewer, customer? So, so for me, I love working with creative people. So um, specifically in the um, sort of creative retail space and the creative technology space. It's those guys, I love their passion and their want, um, but it's the actual, the strategy, the process, the structure, the other side of the brain that they don't have. And by being able to give them some very simple step-by-step -step processes, templates, whatever they need to help their creative um, energy and their creative flow to be able to understand what their business will look like in 12 months, in three years' time. They're the guys that I love working with. All right, then, for the people that are listening to you right now, three points, three words of wisdom, or three sentences of wisdom that will help their business when they walk away from here today. So if they go nowhere else yep. at the show today, they've heard you with these three pieces of wisdom, and that's going to change their business. What would it be? Um, just get on and do it, being one of them stay brand consistent and think digital first. Warren Knight, thank you very much indeed. No problem at all. Uh, uh, but just before you go, we want to sure. find out more about you. Where do we go? Um, you can go to my website, uh, warrenknight.co.uk and come and follow me on Twitter, which is at WVR Knight. There, simple as that. Warren Knight, social media in 30 minutes and digital marketing. It really is as simple as that. Start doing it today. If you've been putting it off, if you don't know clear, if you don't have a clear structure in your mind's eye, you don't know which way you're going to be heading with it. Sit back for a moment. Write, write it down. Work out who you're targeting and what you want to do. And if you want more advice, then visit Warren Knight, social media, 30 minutes, digital marketing. Just go to his website or follow him on Twitter for more great advice.